PRI 2007. We have something pretty controversial going on here in the Cook's Custom Headers booth at the PRI trade show. We tracked down George Ramore to explain it to us. Now, is it true that you have LSX headers for the Mustang? Yeah, what we did was actually for the Fox Body Mustang. There's a lot of guys out there, you can buy a Fox Body rolling chassis, back half roll cage, for pretty reasonable nowadays. Ford motors typically are a little bit more money to make horsepower. So for a budget racer, a lot of guys are putting Chevy motors, small block Chevys, into Fox Bodies. Anthony Jones came out with a K member. Now you can mount a standard small block Chevy, an LS1 motor, so or an LS1 motor. So what we did was actually we made a mild steel header so to keep the cost down for the sportsman racer, and it lets you either put a small block Chevy conventional headed motor in there or an LS1 base motor. So we make a header for the 18 degree, the 23 degree headed motor, either the stall pattern or the standard pattern. So basically, the Ford guys don't really like it, but the Chevy guys love it because, I mean, the cars fly and small block Chevy is easy to make horsepower with and it's a hard swap. Nobody's ever like, uh, traditionally it's been a hard swap, but now what you do is you buy the K-member, put the motor in, the headers are a direct application, so it makes it a much easier swap to do. And I mean, you can build a respectable race car on a limited budget and it really works out well. And what do you have for the Camaros and Firebirds? Um, we have an array of product anywhere from inch and three quarters all the way up to two inch. Um, what I brought out for the display this year was the LS1 race header. It's two by three and a half inch collector, 304 stainless steel. These F-body guys with this LS1 motors, they're bringing them all the way up to 400 cubic inch, 408 cubic inch. Now with the LSX blocks, they can go all the way up to 500 cubic inch. A standard inch and three quarter header will not work correctly on a 500 cubic inch motor. So that's when you could go either the inch and seven A's, inch and seven eighths step to two inch or the two inch. We also made the fixture when we did the fixture, we're gonna probably be able to do two inch step to two and an eighth for the guys that are just, you know, a lot of power at or either a lot of nitrous, big blower motors, so on and so forth. We also have it available with the LS7 or a D port flange for the guys that are running either the L92 cylinder head or the LS7 cylinder head on top of the LSS1, or the LS1 motor or the LSX blocks. And I see you have something for the C5 Vets too. Yeah, the C5 Corvettes and the C6 Corvettes, we make product for both, including headers and X-Pipes. A lot of the guys with the C5 Corvettes are, again, putting the LSX motors in there or putting the LS7 motors in there. So for the C5 Corvette, we have inch and three quarters. We have inch and three quarters step to inch and seven A's. What we brought out for the PRI show is our inch and seven A's step to two inch race header. Um, it's available with, again, the LS7 flange for the L92 head or the LS7 motor into the C5. So basically, these guys that you could get a new Z06 motor, 500 horsepower motor with a warranty from General Motors, put it right in the car and the headers will bolt right on. There's no modifications to do whatsoever. And then of course we make an accompanying X-Pipe available in 3 by 2 and a half or 3 by 3 and it's available also either catted for emissions friendly vehicles for you know passing your state emissions and it's also available off-road for strictly off-road racing use only. So we pretty much have any combination that needs to be handled we can pretty much cover everybody's needs. Yeah, it seems like you have the LS Series motors pretty much covered, even if you put it in a Mustang. Be sure to check them out on cookscustomheaders.com. <laughs>